Hi and welcome back to my series on how to use Microsoft Excel with NVDA or non-visual desktop access and in this video I'm going to introduce a very powerful feature of Microsoft Excel and that is the formula and I'm also going to zoom in on some basic formulas particularly on uh, the four fundamental operations as well as uh, the order of operations uh, particularly the PEMDAS or GEMDAS or in other countries it's BODMAS so to start with I have here a blank workbook and the focus is on cell A1 and here I'm going to type formulas and I'm going to press enter formulas one table two and a down arrow to go to A3. Here on A3, I'm going to type addition. And press enter. Now, when we when we write a formula on Excel, we or the first character should be the equal sign, and the succeeding character should contribute to a valid formula or a valid instruction now that that equal sign is a clue for the excel that the uh, that on 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 a focus cell a formula is being entered so here to write an addition equation i'm going to write equals 7 plus 5 Edit. Seven. Seven plus five. And I'll press enter. Five. Sheet one table five. Now to check, I'll go back to the previous cell by pressing up arrow. Twelve at formula four. NVDA reported the result, which is twelve, and it also reported that in this cell, cell A four. Uh, or set has formula on cell A4. Okay, so now if I want to read the expressions or the components of this formula, I can do this by activating the edit mode by pressing the F2 key. Edit 7, 5. And now the uh, since the, uh, the the cursor is at the end of this equation, I will just need to press left arrow until I reach the beginning. Five plus seven equals. So now I'm checking. I'm reading the contents of this uh, cell. Equals. So this is equals seven plus five. And since I will not be Making any changes, I just need to press the escape key. Sheet one table, well, formula A4. Now I'm going to press the down arrow to go to cell A5. A5. Now here I'm going to input another addition equation. And that is by inputting or by writing equals 24 plus 87. Two, four, twenty four plus eight, seven, and I'm going to press enter eighty seven, sheet one table, six, and press up arrow to check one hundred eleven at formula A five. So here, uh, NVIDIA reported the result, which is one hundred eleven, and also said also reported has formula on cell A5 and I'm going to activate the edit mode by pressing F2 edit 2487. and read the contents by pressing the left arrow key Seven, eight. so this is 87 Plus four, two. and 24 now here if I decide to modify or to change one of the expressions here particularly 24 and I'll 
make this uh, 34 Four. I just need to delete 2 and replace it with 3 two. Three. and since I'm going to carry out the changes I just need to press the, the enter key not the escape key so I'm going to press the enter key now Three. Sheet one table six. And to check, I'll go back to the previous cell by pressing up arrow. 121 at formula A5. So now the result is 121. And this is because there was a slight change on one of the expressions. Now I'm going to go to cell B3. I'm going to press up arrow. 12 at formula A4. Position A3. D3. Now here on B3, I'm going to write subtraction. And press tab key to go to cell C3. Subtraction, sheet one table, C3. And here I'm going to write multiplication. And press tab to go to D3. Multiplication, sheet one table, D3. And here I'm going to input division. D I D I S I O N. And press tab to go to cell E3. Division sheet one table E3. Now here, here on E3, I'm going to input the acronym PEMDAS slash BODMAS. And since these are all caps, I'm going to activate the caps lock. Caps lock on. D E M D A S. M slash. D O D M A S. And uh, now I'm going to go back to the beginning of this line, which is uh, on cell A3, by pressing the home key. Sheet one table, addition A3. Now I'm going to set the column headers from this uh, cell, which is cell A3, and I can do that by pressing the hotkey NVDA plus shift plus letter C. Set A3 at start of column headers. NVDA is reported that I have just set as A3 as start of column headers. Now since it's the start, the other uh, columns next to A3 are also uh, set as column headers. Now to check, I can Go to the lower rows. I just need to press down arrow. Well, that's formula A4. And right arrow here. B4 subtraction. So here NVIDIA reported that on B4, not just actually on B4, but for the for column B, uh, the cells under column B are all uh, under the column header subtraction. And on C4, C4 multiplication. it's multiplication. And on D4, D4 division. Division. And on E4, E4 PEMDAS BADMAS. It's PEMDAS slash BADMAS. Now I'm going to go back to cell B4. D4 division. C4 multiplication. D4 subtraction. Here I'm going to input or write a subtraction equation. And that is 81 minus 27. And uh, of course, I need to begin by pressing the equal sign. Edit. Eight, one. The minus symbol is the dash or the hyphen key on the keyboard. 81 dash 2 7. And now I'm going to press enter. 27 sheet 1 table B5. And I, I'll check the result by pressing the app arrow. 54 at formula B4. So the result is 54. And I'm going to go to cell uh, C4. C4 multiplication. And here for a multiplication equation, I'll write uh, 18 times 19. And the symbol for multiplication is the asterisk which can be activated by pressing the shift 
plus the number 8 key. So here I'm going to begin by writing the equal sign. Edit. And I'll type 18 times 29. 1, 8. 18, star. 2, 9. And press enter. 29, sheet 1, table, C5. And check by press by pressing the up arrow. 522 key. at formula C4. So the result here is 522 for the product of 18 and 29. Now, I press the right arrow to go to cell D4. D4 division. Here I'm going to input a right equals 343 divided by 49. Edit. 3, 4, 3. Now the division symbol is the slash key on the keyword. 343 slash. Four, nine. And I'm going to press enter. 49, sheet one table, D5. And check. 7 at formula D4. So the quotient is 7 on D4. Now I'm going to the last column here for this workbook. And that is on column E. E4, M, the, the last column with a label. So here to illustrate. Uh, PEMDAS or BODMAS, I'm going to write an equation equals Edit. and I'm going to enclose uh, expressions in a parenthesis so I'll be activating or writing the open parenthesis by pressing shift plus the number 9 key Left parent. And I'm going to type 12 plus 25. 1, 2. 12 plus 2. 5. And the close parenthesis, which can be activated by pressing shift plus the 0. 25, right parent. And finally, I'll write the multiplication symbol. Start. And type 8. 8. And here I'm going to press enter. 8. Sheet 1 table E5. And press up arrow to check the 296 result. 296 at formula E4. Now the result here is 296. And I'm going to press the F2 key to activate the edit mode. Edit, 12, 25, 8. Now I'll check what uh, Excel did to this expression. I'll press the left arrow to read the components. Space, star, space, 5, 2, plus, 2, space, 2, plus, 2, 5, 2, plus, 2. So then this is 12 plus 25 times 8. And 12 and 25 are enclosed in parentheses. Now here, based on the uh, based on PEMDAS or BODMAS or the order of operations, uh, expressions enclosed in parentheses are the ones that will be operated first or will be evaluated first by Excel. And in this case, 12 plus 25 uh, are evaluated first, and 12 plus 25 is 37 and after that 37 is multiplied by 8 to get 96 and I'm going to press escape sheet 1 table 296 at formula E4 now I'm going to write another example to illustrate uh, the order of operations or the hierarchy of the operations so I'm going to press down arrow to go to cell E5. E5. Here I'm going to type equal sign. Edit. And type 14 uh, plus 8. 1, 4, 14 plus 8. And times. Five. Eight star. 
5. And press enter. 5. Sheet 1 table E6. And I'll press up arrow to check the result. 54 at formula E5. Now here, the result is 54. And I'm going to activate the edit mode to check what Excel did to the expressions I inputted. Edit 1485. 5 star 8 plus 4 1. So here I have 14 or 14 four plus 8. 14 plus 8 times star 5. Times 5. Now if we do the left to right uh, if weight in evaluating these expressions, so I'll be adding 14 plus 8. 14 plus 8 is 22, and then multiplying 22 by 5 I will get a different result which is uh, 110 however what Excel did according to the rules and order of operations according to PEMDAS or BODMAS uh, multiplication is to be operated first so the hierarchy is that multiplication should be uh, perform first before addition so here instead of doing the left to right excel multiplied 8 by 5 first start so, eight. Start five. so that's 8 times 5 is 40 and after getting 40 40 is added to start 8 plus 4 1 1 4 or 14 and 40 plus 14 is 54 so uh, this example illustrates clearly the uh, the order of operations and or the hierarchy of operations. I'll press the escape key. Sheet one table fifty four at formula E five. I press down arrow to go to cell E six. E six. Here I'm going to uh, show another example. I'll press the equal sign Edit. and here I'm going to type 24 minus 12 divided by 2 okay wait I'll change that uh, I'll have 24 minus 8 divided by 2 okay 2 4 24 dash Eight slash two and press enter. Two. Sheet one table E seven. And I'll check the result. Twenty at formula E six. The result is twenty. Now I'm going to activate the edit mode. Edit twenty four A two. Two slash eight dash four two. So four. This is twenty four minus eight, eight slash divided two. by two. Again, this is twenty four minus eight divided by 2 now what Excel did was to perform the division first the division here is 8 divided by 2 and 8 divided by 2 is 4 after getting 4 uh, Excel proceeded to subtracting 4 from 24 so 24 minus 4 is 20 slash 8 dash 4 2 equals 2 4 dash okay now, if the left to right way is uh, performed, so that would be 24 minus 8, that gives us 16. 4, 2, 4, dash, 8. So that's 2, 4 minus 8 is 16, and 16 divided by 2 will give us 8, and that is a different result, which is actually an incorrect result. So here this is a an illustration of the... PEMDAS or BODMAS and the order of operations. I'm going to press the escape key. Sheet one table, 20 at formula E6. Now with this, I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching and until next time, see you and God bless us all.